Hello everyone and welcome to the MP Online tutorial on setting up the MP Online. In this short video, I'll explain how to create theme guidance. There are 14 themes that represent the most common topics addressed in data management plans such as storage and security, preservation, or related policies. These things work like tags to associate questions and guidance. Questions within a template can be tagged with one or more themes. Administrators can then create guidance by theme to apply their advice over all templates at once. This ensures that you do not need to update guidance each time a new version of a template is released, as these will be automatically linked. For example, most funders include a question about data sharing. So if we create guidance with theme data sharing, this would appear next to every question across all templates tagged with this theme. There are three steps in creating theme guidance. First is to create a guidance group. Second step is to create your guidance. And the third is to publish your guidance. First, you have to create a guidance group. So you will click here and in here you will add a name. In a case, you're creating a guidance specific, for example, for a department or a, a research group, you can select optional subset. Once you create your guidance, just hit save and it will appear in the guidance group list. Guidance group need to be published for guidance to displays to end users. Now we'll move to the second step, which is to create a guidance. Click to create guidance. And in here, enter the text for your guidance. Add the appropriate theme, which can be one or more. Select the guidance group into which you want this guidance to go to. And click save. Once you're ready for your guidance to go live, make sure you publish your guidance. You can publish and unpublish individual pieces of guidance and entire guidance groups. This gives you flexibility to draft and edit guidance before making it public. From the end user perspective, guidance for your organization will be presented to users whenever they have selected your organization from the drop down list in the create plan wizard. Users can choose to switch on and off guidance and change selection to add other institution or guidance groups via project details page as they draft their plan. I hope you have enjoyed this video and do not forget that if there is anything specific you wish us to explain, please get in touch with us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk, subscribe to our monthly newsletter and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn to keep up to date with our most recent work. Links are just below this video. Goodbye!